Hello everyone, it's Timothy. Today I'm going to be playing some Spider-Man. I saw a lot of different videos online, a lot of people were posting about this, and honestly it's because it's amazing. So rather than doing just a simple playthrough, I wanted to go through and really analyze some of the things that they're doing, because they're doing a lot of really cool stuff with this game. And I'd like to just kind of talk about it and give my game design uh, point of view and sort of talk about what they're doing. First, let's take a quick look around the main menu area. Um, I'm not exactly sure what this is meaning. No puppets. Okay, no puppets. You got it. There's some sort of squirrel down there. There's no navigation or movement uh, capable in here. I'm, yeah, I am stuck just in one spot and everything is interactive through here. Um, it would be cool though to have some sort of navigation and that way you can onboarding, onboard people a little bit sooner. They do have a really quick tutorial before story mode, but it's awkward. It feels like it doesn't really fit with the rest of the game. I just think that it would make more sense to do that kind of tutorial stuff in this space. You know, it's a confined space. There's enough room to be able to pull yourself uh, web sling from one end of the room to the other. On a side note, I am kind of annoyed how the layout of Peter Parker's room in the MCU has changed like every single time we've seen it. All right, gonna hop in, uh, under user. And I'm gonna go with upgraded. See, I've, I've got all of the guys here. I'm gonna go with upgraded. I think that one's my favorite. And here we are, I'm Spider-Man. My web shooters. Oh. oh boy. Yep, that's that's quite a ways down. Uh, but of course we're Spider-Man. Um, so let's do it. Let's get. Yeah. And this initial feeling is amazing of just falling down and then swinging. <laughs> and so one of the first things that I wanted to talk about now that we're actually in the game is the web slinging and how cool it is. It's a little bit like Windlands. Um, I think Windlands probably helped prove this concept and uh, convince people that you have a game like this. Uh, the webs don't work exactly like I expected they would. Uh, they're a little stretchier. Uh, they're kind of like rubber bands. They just pull me in different directions. I think I would like it to be a little less rubber bandy. So there's the mechanic of uh, just holding it straight. If I don't pull back, I just get rubber banded up. Uh, but now if I, and then pull, I get an extra boost. And you can hear there's an audible feedback to that. Like the grunting. He sounds like Link, by the way. He sounds like Zelda Link. Yeah. So one interesting solution could be that if I grip on and don't pull, that that is just the natural arc, uh, as if it weren't stretchy at all. But then if I pull down like that, then that does the same boost in that direction. It could be interesting. Because uh, it's just, it doesn't feel bad, it just feels a little unexpected. It doesn't, it doesn't behave quite like I would expect Spider-Man's web to behave. Ooh, hello. That was interesting. A lot of the fun of the game, this game is just navigating around, uh, swinging on different areas, swinging through different buildings. Just having fun like that. Ow. So when you get down to street level, it gets a little potato mode. Uh, pretty low poly guys down here. Let's see if I can find any, I set the population to low, but let's see if I can find any actual people. Oh, there's a person. Couple people. So pretty low poly, but not bad textures. Um, 
They could use some animation to give them a little bit of life. Uh, not a whole lot of detail on the street level, but it's not what this game is about. This game is about, whoa, flying through the air. Like, uh, <clears throat> just like that. Just a Nordic track through the city. So there are a few places throughout the city where the buildings kind of clip into each other. So they probably had some sort of generation algorithm. Uh, maybe they set down splines for the, where the road would be and then it populated the different buildings randomly. Uh, there's a lot of different systems like that. So I wouldn't be surprised if that's sort of what they were doing. Oh, yep, there it is. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I'm not 100% sure what happened here. But okay, so I can. Next, I want to talk about the controls. So I'm playing on one of the older vibes, and they have the forward movement walking bound to the side grips here, and that just goes in whichever direction you are facing, uh, and that is the wrong decision. They should not have done that. It seems like the grip would be the what most people would gravitate towards for the webbing, because that's where Spider-Man does that motion. Yeah. Excuse you. Can I help you? At any rate, grips should just be the web shooters. But moving on from that, uh, pressing down on the trackpad in any direction gives you jump. And then triggers are your web shooters. Uh, you've got the quick fire and then the long fire for web slinging. So yeah, it's serviceable, but I think it could be a lot better. Uh, pressing forward should go forward. And then if you were opposed to having a backwards movement, because you can't turn backwards, uh, you can't move backwards in this game. Um, then pressing down could be jump in that case, but yeah, r really this this would be greatly helped by having a strafe, being able to turn sideways and go backwards, have a lot more mobility. The next thing that I'd argue for uh, is a pretty big change, but I would have the triggers rather than being the web shooters, I would make them be grabbing onto different surfaces. Uh, so you can see when I jump over to here, let's get over there, um, I'm just auto stuck onto the wall. Uh, it just magnetically puts me on here. But I think it would be a lot more engaging if I had to actually tr use the trigger to grab onto different surfaces and then climb up and do a, a locomotion on surfaces that way. I think that could be really engaging. So they do have some gestural controls, uh, like the scanner where I can hold my hands up here and it will show me where some missions are so I can kind of look around and find where they are uh, that way, but that's controlled based on, in, I'm assuming an overlap on the headset, so when my hands overlap a volume on here, it uh, starts the timer and then activates the scanner if I keep my hands there. Um, and that I think they can do a lot more with. So right now I'm wearing the advanced suit, which in the movie has gliding features, uh, just like I think in Homecoming they did as well. Um, but uh, he's got the, the little the armpit webs, uh, which I think could be really cool. You could have different colliders over here to detect when you've got your arms out in this position and uh, just set so that when you're in the air and you have your hands out like this, uh, it's still a little glidey motion. I think that would make sense uh, because the different suit options are, as far as I can tell, purely cosmetic. There's no reason to um, wear one suit over the other. They, they act exactly the same. So I've got a couple different abilities that I can do just naturally that fall out of my web, my web shooters. Uh, you click the trigger for quick attacks. You click and hold for web slinging webs. And then you also have point to point web creation like so. Creating a little guy there. Uh, but it's actually really interesting how much gameplay comes out of that and how engaging that is. So I wanna do uh, this combat trial here. In combat trial missions, you have to shoot down waves of drones before they get you with their laser beams. Ah, 
If you do get hit by one of the lasers, one of your web shooters will get knocked offline and you can't use it for a little while. But from what I could tell, only one of your shooters gets knocked out at a time and you're essentially invincible. Let's try a different one. That one's hard. It's interesting how essentially your, your web shooters become your health, and uh, you just want to keep your web shooters as functional as possible, for as long as possible, so that you can keep web slinging and keep shooting. The second major activity in the game are the time trial races. It's a pretty standard race through the gates mechanic, where you're scored based on how much time you have left at the end. thing that I wanted to talk about was how they do the lighting and shadow. So the time of day here is static, and that means that the sun's never going to change position, which means that the shadows are never going to move. Now one cool thing that that lets you do is that you can bake all the lighting, you can pre-calculate all of these reflections and all of this lighting so that you don't have to do it at runtime uh, when the people are playing the game so that the game can run a lot smoother. But for some reason, it seems like they have dynamic shadows on their buildings. Um, so for instance, for me, I'm moving around, so I have to have a dynamic shadow. But these buildings aren't going anywhere. And like I said, the sun isn't moving. But these appear to be dynamic shadows. I'm, I'm not 100% sure why they did that. But if we go over here, I noticed that the parked cars don't have a shadow. And you'd think that those would be easy since they're not, they're also not moving. So you can just bake a shadow for that. But then if we look at a moving car, you can see this one does have a shadow. Now, ideally they'd all have shadows, but if you're gonna shadow, put shadows on one type of car, you'd think you'd have that on the static car, not on the moving car. So this city is pretty... Yeah, thank you, Peter. Thanks. So this city is pretty big. There's a lot of traversable space. But unfortunately, it ends up feeling really empty because there's like six or seven missions. Um, I think you could expand on that. If there was... Yeah! Thanks for agreeing with me, Peter. Um, maybe just plop down a few more missions of uh, the exact same type. Uh, it doesn't seem like it'd be hard. I'd love to see them expand on this. I think there's a lot of different stuff they could do. Um, just whether it's just adding more of these combats and uh, more time trials. I think it'd be pretty cool if they added other areas to the city, like if you could go to Queens or uh, if you had Hell's Kitchen over there. Uh, that might be cool. So that's essentially all I got. Uh, there's a lot of really cool stuff here. I'm really impressed. Probably gonna come back to this at some point, uh, even though I cleared everything out because it's just really fun to swing around. Uh, really cool navigation. I hope that they go somewhere else with this and they don't just keep it related to uh, promotional movie tie-in stuff if they actually branch this out into its own series would be pretty cool. Hey, thanks for watching my video. If you enjoyed this video, leave me a like and let me know. Bye! <laughs>